Welcome to the Scalable Front-End Architecture session. In this session, we'll discuss how to create a scalable front-end architecture in OutSystems. We'll start by introducing the basic front-end elements in OutSystems and how to use Silk UI as a starting point. We'll discuss the front-end elements that become what we'll call the company base, and then we'll look at how that architecture will evolve when apps share customization and when apps need specific customizations. This will help us determine how to customize at the right level and ensure coherency of our front-end architecture. So let's go ahead and get started. OutSystems provides elements to help build front-ends like themes that define the look and feel of our app, which include screen layouts, the global style sheets, and grid definitions. Then patterns, of front-end implementations like carousels, calendars, and many others, and templates that define the starting look and feel of apps, and those include the themes and the patterns and other common functionality. These elements allow the implementation of a scalable front-end architecture. OutSystems provides a framework called Silk UI Mobile to accelerate the creation of beautiful user interfaces for phones and tablets of all sizes. Silk UI Mobile is a great starting point for creating these base elements for a company's look and feel. To simplify, let's refer to all customizations required for the company apps as the company base. All customized elements in the company template, theme, patterns become part of that company base. Let's walk through a scenario and see how we would use the company base and evolve it into a scalable front-end architecture. So consider the company starts with a first app to consumers and is using the customizations in the company base. As more apps are created, like several internal BDE apps, they could share the base customizations of the company, which means they are all following and reusing the company base. But what if a group of apps have specific customizations in addition to the company base? In that case, a group of apps with more specific customizations should have a new level of customization. That new level references the, custom the company base to inherit its customizations, but then overrides the inherited customizations or can create new ones. For other groups of apps that require different customizations, like a set of B2B apps, just repeat the same procedure. When a customization spreads across all the apps in a group, we can promote it to the right level of customization. By promoting it to a higher level, it improves the architecture and scalability because there's only one place to change the customization, but it affects all instances. Another advantage of having custom customizations at the right level is that any changes to a customization will propagate to all of the correct apps at once. For example, a change made to a, custom, a company base customization will propagate to all apps that use it. So it becomes faster and easier to change apps. A good front-end architecture also ensures coherency while teams are implementing their apps. That's because each team will only have permissions to use the customizations for their apps and won't mix with the implementation of other apps from other teams. So that's it for this session on scalable front-end architecture. Thanks for listening and have a good day.